Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to go ahead and read a comment that I feel will be extremely valuable and I'm gonna go ahead and show you something that you can use to replace the use of Canva if you wanna use graphics and templates to self-publish on Amazon KDP and feel a little bit more safe and uh, not wonder whether your account will be red flagged or whatnot. So this is the comment. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen. Is she, uh, it's her name is Juliet Wardrick 2947. Thank you so much for your comment, by the way. You uh, commented saying, AI is teaching kids for crying out loud, talking teacher, blah, 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 <laughs> taking teachers positions. What happens when AI takes everybody's job? That's a good question. However, AI cannot take over all the jobs. That's why trades are very important, like barbers, like uh, building houses, uh, putting tile on the floor, uh, becoming a plumber. All of those jobs are going to be extremely, not only are they already lucrative, but they're going to be in high demand. Now, AI is teaching kids. You're right. As a matter of fact, my son had an AI tutor and it was one of the best things that we could do because number one, have you guys checked out tutors? I mean, it's costly. They charge about $80 an hour versus an AI tutor, which will give you an entire breakdown of your child's weaknesses, what they're doing wrong, what they can improve in seconds. Um, and it's only for like $20, maybe 30. I, so far the AI tutors that I have, two of them that I have uh, used for my son in his, in his homeschooling journey have been no more than maybe like $30. So that's been great. Anywho, uh, the comment goes along to say something <clears throat> that's very important. So listen up. Canva has a copyright issue with KDP because when you click the publish button, you have to claim copyright to all elements that you decorate your book with. And when you do that, KDP flags you or terminates your account because you use an element that is still claimed by the illustrator and Canva doesn't make it clear, which is true, Canva doesn't make it clear on how you're, you are to use the elements in KDP. Adobe Express doesn't have that issue. Guys, do you know about Adobe Express? This is the first I hear of it. So Adobe Express doesn't have that issue, by the way. Bless you, Maritza. Thank you for your knowledge and keep it up. No, thank you for this amazing comment. You bring up, you raise uh, good questions. And thank you for sharing with us um, this, uh, the Adobe Express. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now in real time. I'm actually looking at this website for the first time in real time i want you guys to explore this with me a little bit and uh from what i could see i mean this looks very interesting um just by going up to the top where it says create um i already know that we can create things for social media instagram facebook youtube videos youtube thumbnails a youtube banner Invoice, resume, card, menu, invitation. I'm looking to see maybe if there is a way to maybe customize a template like you can on Canva. Animate characters. Okay, what is this all about? I think I'm going to have to log in. Oh, wait a second. It would be interesting to hear your feedback. I want to go ahead and check out pricing as far as pricing goes. There's students, K-12, teams, enterprise, nonprofits. Okay. Let me just click on compare plans and see. Okay, so it's actually cheaper than Canva for individuals who want millions of premium templates and assets and more generative AI credits and time-saving features. It's $9.99 a month. I believe that for Canva, I paid $12.99, but I've had Canva for several years now. And I think, don't quote me on that, I think the price has changed. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to explore this route. And let me go ahead and click on create. Maybe, is there a way? Adobe Express for free. Okay, for free. Let me go ahead and click on the for free. I'm going to go ahead and log in. So I'm logging in and I'm going to go ahead and click on personal. And then just next. And then maybe uh, choose something like social media content, maybe. Why not? And then now it says organic, minimal, elegant. Okay, let's do elegant. Next. Administration, content creator. Let's just go with that. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, I like this. Now 
Uh, let's see if I can come up with something custom. Okay, custom size. Wonderful. Let me see. Let me go ahead and click on inches and maybe do an 8. Uh, 8.5 and then the height by 11. Create a new file. And I think it's... Yes! Oh my gosh, we have a customized file of an 8.5 by 11, like I would on Canva. And now I just want to go ahead and check to see what type of elements there are here. And hello, I need to... Guys, why have I not heard of this before? Let's see. Okay, a background. Okay. Uh, shapes, icons, icons. Let's see. Uh, maybe like a flower. Let me, let me search for something. Flower vines with flower let me go with that okay <clears throat> let's see maybe a different type of flower or are they all black and white guys please let me know if you've ever used this before it's my first time so pretty excited flower with petals falling i don't know let me see what happens okay no too too specific okay let's see what about clouds Okay, so everything is a black and white, and this is giving me coloring book vibes. Um, let's see, design assets. What are design assets? Okay, clouds. Okay, let me see something. Flower. Oh, here we are. Okay, okay. Let me see. Okay, oh, I can edit it. Uh, adjust corners. Okay, cool. Let me go back and see what other things. Oh, patterns. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Are you guys looking? Are you guys watching this? This is crazy. This is so cool. Okay, what else? What else do we have here? Okay, you can definitely use some of these in a coloring book and even and maybe like a poetry book. Let me see this one. This is beautiful. Okay, but now I want to see if I can add you are pre previewing a premium asset in your object. Okay, so this is a, these are, or some of these are maybe this one, is a premium asset, which means that I would need to pay the month to month uh, membership, I guess, uh, which is great. Let me see, how can I add another page? This is extremely cool. I can't wait to get off this video and start testing this out, but as you can see here, um, and then here on the right, oh my God, on the right hand side, I just noticed that um, you have the elements that you're using here. Let me just go ahead and delete it and see what happens. Oh, you guys saw that? As soon as I delete the element, it deletes also from here. Very cool. Bulk create. What does that even mean? Go premium with free trial. Features like resize, erase, remove background. Okay, so that's all available if you have premium. Brand kit with logos, fonts. 25,000 licensed Adobe fonts. Mm. Okay, okay, this is kind of cool. Okay, definitely we need to start exploring more what this Adobe Express is. Thank you so much, Juliet. You are amazing. I can't wait to uh, create something with this uh, program. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.